Good morning, guys, and hope you're all good. Welcome back to another Walt Disney World vlog, and welcome back to my Walt Disney World vlog series. It is now that time we are checking out of the Polynesian, and I wasn't going to vlog like leaving the room, but because of just how amazing this room has been and how amazing just everything about this stay has been I just yeah i just wanted to vlog it one last time and honestly next time i stay here i really think i'm going to email disney and just ask if i can have like the same room like if i've got like a lake view because this is a lake view room i'm going to say can i be in this building this room um or even just like even a bit further along just somewhere because it's just been so nice and yeah it's pretty much now time to leave this awesome room i've tidied up as much as i can i've put the bed in there to a side i'm gonna put it down neatly for the for the lovely housekeeper i was just speaking to her before she was really really nice and um yeah i'm gutted honestly i am really gutted to believe in this place because i've just i've just really really enjoyed it and when you wake up from your bed and that's your view like you it just can't get any better than that oh and just a quick one as well let me quickly show you this how cool is that? I seen that literally the other day and I mean it to show you is it and I was like oh yeah in the mirror just and that lovely painting oh and then you've got this one as well just everything about it honestly I'm not really going to do too much talking about like resorts and stuff because we're going to be doing that all in the next series that will come next month for you guys well it'll be this month now if you're watching but uh but yeah I just yeah just the resorts honestly are gorgeous but anyway guys today we are heading to Kidani village that's where we're checking in which is my home resort i'm so excited to get there and then we're going to animal kingdom one of my favorite parks i'm really excited for that so if you like this sort of content make sure you smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button and let's let's get to Kidani village I'm now at Disney's Animal Kingdom Kidani Village and I've just been in um, you would have seen some clips some slow-mos of the three bedroom I just did a DVC to have the three bedroom totally different way to vacation if um, if you've got the points I don't have the points for that it's 70 points a night so I would be borrowing for about three years worth to uh, to go in there but um but yeah oh my god it would be awesome and I was just thinking like if the thing happens that me and Con want to happen in 2023 that would be a great room but yeah <laughs> but anyway just checked in and um, I've left my luggage there because unfortunately the room's not available and it is only half 12 so of course the room isn't going to be available as of yet so we're heading at Animal Kingdom and we do have I managed to get a reservation at Tusker House no not Tusker House Tiffins Tiffins that's it I always get mixed up with Tuskers and Tiffins yeah I managed to get a reservation at Tiffins so I'm excited for that but that's not till 2.20 so that's where we're going to be eating tonight. Well, eating today. I'm excited. That's at 20 past two. And I'm definitely queuing for Flight of Passage. You have to. You have to do Flight of Passage. So I'm excited for that. Can you tell I'm smiling? Can you tell I'm happy? This is my home resort. And... Oh, yeah. See, I was like... I, I was a Polynesian and I was happy. But I wasn't like this. When I'm here and I see the animals and that... Yeah. I love this resort. Right, so let's head down to the bus. Now, I don't know how often, but, you know, I never know the bus time, so I'll tell you what, though, it is a bit nippy. It's um, it's about nine degrees today, which is which is cold. That is, that is very, very cold. So there's Magic Kingdom and Epcot, and we're going to Animal Kingdom, which is which is just down here. So this is where we'll be getting the bus. And there's the bus time. So we've got 12.46, 12.31, 12.51, 12.37. Ah, so like, four minutes but yeah i'm just, i just love animal kingdom i love being around here it reminds me of like the jungle and even though i've never been to a jungle before i've never been to africa hopefully one day but um but this is the closest i'm gonna get for now but yeah i just i just 
yeah, I just absolutely love it. Just a quick one as well. If one you like, if you ever stay here and you decide not to go for the Savannah view and you go for the standard view, this is what you might be faced with. Now, I'm going to be honest. I've got a standard view. I am honestly not fussed where I am in this hotel as long as I'm actually here. You may be lucky enough. The A standard views with Savannahs where it'll be like a partial Savannah view. So that's if you're very lucky. But me and Nathan had a Savannah view for one night and then a standard view for one night when we were last year. And honestly, I'm happy with a standard view in here. It's just nice, obviously, just being here and being in Animal Kingdom. But I thought I would just mention this, just like, obviously, because I know the price difference is quite massive for the Savannah and Animal Kingdom. It's the same with DVC. The price difference is quite big, point-wise. So, yeah, that's just something to uh, just, just something to factor in if you're looking to get a standard view. So, like, because some people online will say, oh, you'll be looking at the car park. Maybe, potentially. But, obviously, if you're a bit higher up, then you will have that as a view, which I think's all right, to be honest, it's quite nice. And here we go, just arriving at Animal Kingdom. And I'm excited for today. The only thing is, I will say it is a bit nippy. Kind of regretting the shorts, not gonna lie. But do you know this is probably the coldest I've ever known it to be Florida? Let's just put it this way. I'm so glad I've got that dining reservation, one million percent, because whew, <laughs> if I didn't, I'd be very anxious because I'd be thinking, oh my God, I'm going to be freezing today. So yeah, just as well that I was able to get dining reservations. They're obviously expecting it to be a quiet park day because they've only got like six turnstiles open, maybe seven. So there's these queues, which is a, which is a bit of a nightmare. Okay, do your finger, please. Okay, now for the princess. Awesome, I'm in. And I'm all like, I'm all wrapped up. I say wrapped up. I sh Do you know, <laughs> me Liverpool scarf, oh, I know, yeah, I shouldn't even say that on the vlog, should I? But me Liverpool scarf was actually in the boot of my car before I left. And I was thinking to myself, should I use it, should I not? Should I use it, should I not? Should I take it? Because it was cold, obviously, in the morning, so I thought it would be good at the airport. And then I didn't take it. I never thought I would need it in Florida. <laughs> but yeah, it is so cold. Oh, and here we go. It's very quiet. Very quiet in here today. Look at the gorgeous tree. Tree of life. It's so good. Oh, I'm so happy to be here, man. Oh, see, do you know, I said to, I was saying to people the other day that I was falling out with Animal Kingdom, not like, like something bad. I was just like, I did, oh, look at the birds. I just, I don't know, I said the other day I was a bit like, I don't know, the novelty was wearing off, but now I'm back. I'm like, no, it hasn't. It's still exactly the same as how it felt the other day well last time i was here so as i said to you earlier on at the start of this vlog it, today is another day of winging it we do have a reservation obviously because i managed to get it this morning i don't have a reservation for tonight so we will hunt and try and get a reservation later if we can obviously it all depends if we can get one um oh they've got a bird show on but yeah we uh, i'll try and see what i can get later i'm hoping to get Sinar but it all just depends if it becomes available. It's not available at the moment, I've been looking. There's quite a lot of available at other resorts, just like Boma's available at Jambo House. But between Sinar and Boma, I much prefer Sinar. And we're actually gonna head to Starbucks because when you come into Magic Kingdom, you have to get a Starbucks. <sighs> See, I really like Joffrey's, but it's just like tradition for me to come straight in here and go straight to Starbucks. And I'm definitely getting a warm drink, one million percent. It's definitely not gonna be a frappe today. It's gonna be the hottest drink we can get. And I might even ask for it to be extra hot, which like again i never thought i'd be saying that in florida it is january though do you know what usually i would say i'm not ever gonna stand in a queue like that because it looks really busy do you know what just for a bit of heat i'm quite happy with that just a quick one as well if you i hate vlogging other people so i'm gonna try and like avoid like pretend that i'm like looking up but if you look you'll see everyone's like proper in like jackets and coats and there's me in like a pair of shorts i ended up going for the hot chocolate but look at this they called me <laughs> I told you, no one can understand what I'm saying. It's the accent. Everyone thinks, <laughs> yeah. I've been called many things, Don, Dante. Someone called me something else as well. Was it Nathaniel or something like that the other week? Honestly, everyone always calls me something different. I don't think, I think only once someone's actually got my name correctly. But anyway, my, my now my name's Dante. Dante, Dante Dalamo. God, that would be a, that would be a mouthful, wouldn't it? Oh, am I heading the right way? No, I'm heading the wrong way. No, I'm heading the right way. We're gonna, we're gonna go to Pandora first. Ah, and there's Tiffin's. So that is where I'm gonna be eating soon, actually. Do you know, I'm sure it was Adam and Gary that ate here recently. Or it might have been someone else. Oh, look at the birds. 
and I'm sure it's one of the, I'm sure one of them said it was their favourite restaurant. Oh my god, I need to remind myself to get a picture next to that soon before it gets dark. Maybe before I go into Tiffin's, I'll get a picture there. No way. Flight of Passage is sitting at 125 minutes. E my god, the queue's actually out the door. It actually is at 125 minutes. Uh, wow. Wow, it's been a long time since I've seen Flight of Passage at 125 minutes. That is insane. Honestly, it has been. It, it, it's been such a long... Sorry to interrupt you. Oh, hi, are you all right? <laughs> right, I'm not going to lie. I don't fancy waiting two hours. So, we're going to go on. I can't believe I'm even saying this. Maybe purchasing Genie Plus or Lightning Lane. To be honest, this will be the first time this trip. I was actually just met some viewers, bless you. I didn't catch your names, which I'm, I'm really sorry I didn't get your names. All I know is you are Irish, and I hope I'm right about that as well. But it was lovely meeting you, by the way, and thank you very much. Right, I'm going to... They, they've literally got a fast pass for this at 2.15, they were saying. So I'm going to see what the times are for me getting this. I really want to get... I can't believe Disney and not go on Flight of Passage. Come on. 5.50. Lightning Lane, $14. Yeah, I think we're going to do it. Oh, my God. I can add Ben on. Oh, actually... I was going to show you as I can add like all my friends, like hang on, if I can do that, I can like add like Conan, Ben, Nathan, Stephen, but they're not here, unlucky guys, but I can't believe I'm doing this, 5.50 I'm paying, yeah, so I'll get out of Tusker's house and that'll probably be the last ride of the day, $14 this is costing, do you know what, I've never done Rafiki's Planet Watch, like, what's that going to be, 100 minutes, hang on, before I, before I confirm I'm doing Rafiki's Planet Watch, let's, Oh, I thought that said 500 minutes. No, it finishes at 5 p.m. Yeah, we're gonna do a, uh, we're gonna do Rafiki's Planet Watch. And yeah, the last train departs at 4:30. And I'm excited for this because I've actually, I've actually never done this before. I couldn't even tell you actually what happens. The only thing I do know about is that they do operations on the animals, and you can watch, which it's definitely not right. It's definitely not up my alley that mind. But uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this. Oh, I'm excited now I'm on the train. Yeah, isn't it funny though, right? So, you know how I've just said I've never done this before? It's crazy now. This is like my seventh trip to Disney World. And there's something that I've not done before. And that is one of the things I will say, like, any, like what? I, just this is actually reconfirming of what I said to you earlier. The thing with here is you think you can come here and do two weeks here and you'll see most of it. There'll be fit you literally, I can promise you, you will not get it all done. The reason it's designed that way to be so big so then people come back and time and time again and it, you know it's worth it is because it, you know it is absolutely massive this place. Like if you said to me I'm gonna go to Paris for seven days while I get everything done. I would say you're probably going to get 99% of it or maybe 90% of it done. There'll be certain things you'll not get done, like you might not see certain things, or you might not be able to eat in a restaurant or whatever. But majority you will you will get a lot of it done. This is like completely different. It's like a, it, it's, a, it's a different wavelength. It's the reason why people like myself and you guys come time and time again. It's because you'll not get to see everything done. You're not, sorry, you'll not get to see everything. Anyway, yeah, we'll go. I like how the signs have got like hidden Mickey. Well, they're not hidden. Do you know, I keep saying hidden Mickeys when they're like surely not hidden. I like how I'm on a train as well. The only thing I wished about this train is that it kind of like had some covering for warmth because I'm freezing. But uh, but yeah, well, there's Will Smith. Aww. Wow. Oh, Warthog building. Oh, wow. This looks awesome. I'm so excited for this. And there's Rafiki. Honestly, like, I've, I can't believe out of all the trips I have never been here. The only thing is, is I've got Tiffins at 10 to, uh, 10 to 3 and it's now 2pm. So I'm not even going to be able to spend a lot of time here. But this is definitely somewhere I'm going to bring Ben. Because this, Ben will like this. This is, I think Ben will love Animal Kingdom. He loves animals. Quite a lot of my mates are animal mad. That's a quick one, off. I didn't vlog it, but me and Con recently went to London. And Con from the 30th took me to the Lion King show in London. And oh, it was just... 
honestly it was just out of this world and what I love about stuff like this more than anything is the thought that they're teaching kids about conservation I honestly love that I think it's so important that we teach the next generation and to be honest the generations that are like like myself and others about how important wildlife is to the planet and how important it is to you know to for conservation of animals and and things like that especially now more than than ever before wow wow <laughs> this is awesome right so just around here supposedly is another animal experience and this is oh this is like like a petting zoo the only thing is i just feel like it's too cold to be walking around in a petting zoo like, i'm not gonna lie oh wow oh my god so like you can actually talk to staff and they're gonna like advise you which is really cool do you know this reminds me of london zoo actually this actually kind of looks like London Zoo. And the most important thing about being in here is it is lovely and warm. I mean, lovely and warm. <laughs> so it's worth coming in here just for the heat, never mind anything else. Oh my God, and this is the sketching service that you can do. Yeah. I can't imagine me trying to do this oh my god that would be horrendous let me know in the comments if any of you guys have done this well unfortunately because i've got that dining reservation i can't stay here for longer but i'm gonna explore this area properly when i'm here with ben me and ben have three nights at kadani village in the next trip so this is when we'll come here and spend more time here because yeah I really like this place. Right, I'm sitting down in Tiffin's now and I'm excited. It's, um, the only thing I will say is if, because it's so cold outside, I've came in and it's not that warm in here <laughs> and I was hoping it would be like really warm, but it just isn't, I don't know. <laughs> when I sat down, I was thinking, should I ask them to turn the heat on? <laughs> but just remember, I'm not at home. But yeah, let's, uh, I don't really know what to get. I'm not going to eat too much because it is lunch so i'm not gonna eat too much so this is actually the 50th anniversary specials menu and there's quite a lot to choose from on here i've actually not went for this i'm actually getting the bread service as a, an entree as a start and then i don't really know right i've heard the butter chicken's nice so i'm thinking the butter chicken but then i really love shrimp oh, you guys know me i love prawns so i'm thinking should i get the prawns i don't know i don't know what to get now the bread service has come now apologies this lovely gentleman just explained all of it but i literally have forgot it all already apologies but this is it and then these are the dips and they just look oh, it just looks so good i am just so excited for this right let's try this bread oh, i'm excited that's really nice oh that dips really really good now like i'm trying this naan and i think we'll try like this like chutney thing apologies i don't know the names i'm really sorry if i'm like offending anyone because i don't know the names that's really really nice yeah honestly Tiffins all the way, I'm telling you. But I'm not like the actual biggest bread person, believe it or not. But like, when it's like naan and, and stuff like that, with like curry dips, or oh, I could eat this all day, honestly. What I'm more worried about though, is I don't even know how much it cost. <laughs> I should have looked at the price. To be honest though, it's a bread service. I don't think it'll be that much. I'll obviously let you know. I just literally just asked, he just said, would you like the bread service? I was like, yeah. And then after we walked away and left, I was thinking, ooh. I thought I would quickly show you the room as well, so because I've not even shown you, have I? So like, you've got like, um, is that an elephant? Or is that a rhin rhinoceros? I can't really see. Oh, it's a rhino. It's a rhino. And then, I oh, just love the theming in this place. It is so nice. Like, I honestly think I may have found my favourite place, you know. I don't think I told you what I went for, but I went for the butter chicken and look at it, it looks so nice. Don't know if you can see that all right, but yeah, I'm really excited. Mm. This is honestly unbelievable. I actually can't believe how nice this is. Do you know what as well, Sharon, hope you don't mind me mentioning your name in the vlog. But Sharon's just said like she's so pleased that I've managed to get some dining reservations. And that's another thing guys, let's take this back to what this whole series is about. You know, it's about winging Disney. Can you do Disney last minute? Can you get dining reservations last minute? Well here I am and 
in Tiffin's, an animal kingdom, somewhere where I would deem a very nice, probably high, popular restaurant. And I've managed to get it on the day. So it makes you think, doesn't it? It really does make you think. I've really enjoyed filming this series. It's been a nightmare, mind. I'm drained from it. I'm knackered. But I'm proud of what we've done. I'm, I'm proud of how we've put this together and and how we've made it work. And I would, is if it just at least helps one of you guys out there, that's that's enough for me to be honest. Right, this is it. We are going on flight of passage, and the time is currently. 1747, we're doing alright for time to be honest. Decon. Initiating GMR decon. Stand still over your number, you're not gonna feel a thing. You're doing great. Almost done here. And as always, on the ride, you come out and it's dark. I always time that right. Someone mentioned that to me recently in on Instagram. They said you always time flight of passage to come out in the dark. Sometimes, not all the time, but this time I actually didn't plan for that to happen. It was just that's when the, the quickest reservation was. But um, but yeah, it's been a really nice day to be honest. I've really, really enjoyed the day. Right, well, goodbye, Animal Kingdom. And I will see you very, very soon. Do you know what? I know I shouldn't, but I, before I leave here, I'm going to have to get a hot chocolate from Joffrey's because I've, I've not had a hot chocolate from Joffrey's yet. So I'm definitely going to get one. Sorted, hot chocolate is here and oh god I needed a warm meal. Oh do you know what as well Joffrey's do. Yes it's confirmed Joffrey's hot chocolate is awesome. It's much better than Starbucks. Sorry Starbucks I love you at home but I don't love you in Florida. Do you know what right I have absolutely adored this trip. Honestly I really really have and it's really made us think about more five six nighters. But anyway we'll obviously reflect and talk more about that tomorrow. But anyway, let's head to Kadani Village. I can't wait to show you this hotel because we're going to go around it tonight. And I wouldn't mind doing, because it's so bloody cold, I wouldn't mind doing the marshmallows by the fire because I bet they've got it on tonight with it being so cold. Back at the hotel and I was the only one out with a full bus that got off at Kadani. So everyone else is staying at Jambo, which is crazy. But you know why that is? It's because Kadani's pool's closed. So I can imagine for a lot of people, they'll not want to stay here until the pool's back open. Oh, and it's lovely and warm in here now. That's so nice. Right, let's check in. Yeah, guys, I'm not staying in Kadani Village. I'm actually staying in Jambo House. Bless. The uh, DVC team ran out of Deluxe Studios at Jambo. So what the, uh, sorry, at Kadani. So what they've done, bless them. Is put us in a one bedroom in Jambo House. He was like, Oh, I could just try and find you like something here. I was like, No, that's fine. One bedroom at Jambo. I'm excited because now, right, so firstly, I can do all my washing in the room, which is good. And then also, I don't have to walk over at Jambo to get, the, get in the pool tonight. So I'm all excited. So you were getting a one bedroom tour today, which is exciting. Right, just for clarity, I've already been in the room and it is gorgeous so i'm gonna pretend to you i'm gonna be like "Ooh, let's just go in and see what the room's like but just for clarity i've already turned all the lights on and i've already been in but i'm gonna show you but uh but anyway just for like just for the vlog i'm gonna pretend i've not been in before so you ready e so guys i've not been in the room yet <clears throat> let's see what it's like e you didn't see that bag i've not been in here yet my god, we are in a one bedroom. Oh. <laughs> right, I'm not going to scream because I know some years are like, if you scream, Dan, I'm switching you off and I'm going to go and watch Corrie or something. <laughs> but honestly, look, we're in a one bedroom. Oh, this is just awesome. Right, so we're going to do a room tour. Let's, uh, let's be professional about this. So let's start from the door. So guys, on the left, we have some prints, which I'm going to do a giveaway for some of you guys on Instagram. I'm going to do one for Patreon members and one for Instagram. <sighs> Lovely. In fact, actually, no, I'll tell you what, we'll do two for Instagram and I'll get another two tomorrow for my Patreon members. We've got a nice table, cooker. Now, it is so tempting just to make my own meal tonight. I've got that cooker. Why don't I just go make my own food? It probably makes more sense. Nice wide room, lovely big TV. In fact, I am. I really fancy making something tonight just in the room. Do you know what I mean? But I just don't know what yet. Are you ready? First of all, bath. Sorry, that's not a bath. 
<laughs> First of all, shower, and I'm so chuffed up. Oh my god, that's not a shower! Right, hang on. Cut. Action. Right. First of all, <laughs> we have a washer, a dryer, and I'm so excited because it means I can do my washing. And Robin from Watson's Do Disney just had me in creases because we've just been talking about this, about how we love doing our washing before we get home. But it saves you a bloody fortune, guys. Nice big king bed just for me. Oh, I can't wait for that. And then the main event is coming. Are you ready? Jacuzzi bathtub. Oh. I can't wait. Oh my god, look at that as well. I cannot wait for this. Oh my god, right, calm down. Calm down, keep it cool. Oh, do you know, honestly, this is my dream. Honestly, yes, I am so excited for this. I'm living for this right now. There's me, very happy and blurry. Typical Canon G7X Mark III. There we go. Yes, that's me, very excited and happy. Um, his and hers sinks. And then toilet. I'm actually just gonna head down to the main lobby now. And uh ooh, what's this? Is this an ice machine? Oh wow, like I oh yeah. Ooh, god, I might buy myself a diet coke actually. How much are they? Uh ooh, doesn't say the prices. We might ooh, 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 left, left. And I must say, mine guys, I absolutely adore this lobby. It is so nice, and that'll be the savannah at the back. Obviously, it's so dark now that I'll not be able to see anything. But you know, now I'm in here, I kind of like get why so many people love this resort over Kadani. Oh, is that the fireplace over here? And yeah, this is the fire, um, which I was talking about earlier. And you can actually feel the heat from here. We might do that tomorrow. In Boma, the restaurant that's in Jambo House is just down there, which is a quite a nice restaurant. It did make, it make us feel ill last time, but it is a nice restaurant. And then there's a cafe just there. But anyway, we're gonna go into the marketplace. Oh my God, look at all of these. Oh. No, I need to avoid all stuff like this. Now, where, oh, there's food at the back, I can see it. Yeah, we're not gonna buy any merch, we're just here for the food. See, there's eggs down there, but they're caged eggs, so I'm not buying any of them. Cereal here, but that's like such a big box for like, for one night, you know what I mean? There's no point getting to that size. Oh. Thick spaghetti. Oh my god, I could make like spaghetti bolognese tonight. See, this is the thing, I'm half tempted just to make food in the room. I'll see what Sonar's looking like. Sonar's currently sitting at a 30 minute now, but then Boma's just became available for a 10 minute one. So I'm just gonna go down to the desk because it's in this hotel. And rather than walk all the way over to the other, other resort, I might as well just eat in Boma. It's a little bit more expensive than Sonar, but it just makes sense just to do that for a day and then just keep my, still keep my Boma reservation, uh, keep my Sonar reservation for tomorrow. Right, I'm back at the room and OMG, I am so excited to get in this. So obviously I'm not going to vlog myself in the bath, so just imagine how excited I'm going to be getting into this jacuzzi bath. I've been dreaming of this for a while. Right, see you shortly. Good morning from Animal Kingdom Lodge in my one bedroom villa. It's uh, it's a bit later, it's like 9.30 in the morning and I've just got out of a nice bubble bath. Obviously last night you would have seen that I got into a, a, a nice bath. And it, oh God, it's worth it. I, I literally came out last night like a lobster, got into bed, closed my eyes and woke up this morning. And um, yeah. Yesterday, right, let's discuss yesterday and let's chat about how everything was and yeah, like how Animal Kingdom was. Uh, firstly, for winging it, it was a bit of a nightmare because the park was really, really busy. However, we did get Tiffin's, which is a last minute reservation. We, we got that and to be honest, I'm still shocked because Tiffin's is like, it's quite pricey, but it's it's like busy. Uh, sorry, it's like a busy, well it is, yeah, it's like a busy place, you know what I mean? So a lot of people, a lot of people want to be at Tiffin's, you know what I mean? So I was quite shocked that I got that last minute. Um, I had to do Genie Plus, I had to use, well, Lightning Lane for Flight of Passage, but you know what, it was worth it because it reminded me of how bloody much I love Animal Kingdom. I absolutely love it so much, honestly, I really do, and I was just, yeah, just being back and being there, like, really, really, like, it, it's close there, you know what I mean, like, it, it reminds me of how much I love it. And then, obviously, 
we went to Rafiki's Planet Watch, which is an interesting one. I like it. I can understand why some of you guys uh, would take your kids there. I really enjoyed it because I'd never done it before and I think it's one of them things, if you've not done it before, definitely go over. It's not something I would rush to go back to. I'll take Ben because I know Ben will really enjoy it. But it's not somewhere I would like kind of rush to go back to. It's just, I don't know, it was, it was interesting. It was nice. There's a lot of things that I would be really awful at, like I'm terrible at drawing, I can't draw for anything. So, so yeah, that would be, that wouldn't be good. I'm not really keen on watching people operate on animals. I can understand why they do it, because obviously it's educational and things, but it's definitely not up my cup of tea. Just a quick one, this is my view from the one bed. So there's the, there's the room there, and this is my view, which is a really, really nice view to be honest, and I was down there earlier. I haven't been in the pool, to be honest. It's a lot warmer today, but it was freezing last night. So I thought, nah, definitely not. But it's nice to have like that blueness. And then if look how long this balcony is. And if you walk along this side of the balcony, it takes you to my room, which is just in there. And yeah, I'm, oh, that jacuzzi looks good as well. Just dead quickly though, wanna say a huge thank you to two people who have been checking in with me and who are just like the most genuine. Do you know, honestly, if someone said to me, what's the best thing that's come out of you vlogging? It would be the friendships that I've made. You know, like with genuinely really nice people, like just people who, you know, want to go above and beyond to make sure you're all right. And just people who are just lush. Um, the two people are Robin, uh, Watson Zoo Disney, and then uh, Gary, uh, Gary C. Honestly, between Robin and Gary, I've probably spent maybe like three hours on the phone. Um, to them this morning between them and they're just honestly such nice genuine people and it's hard to find nice genuine people sometimes you know people that you really connect with and people that are truly friends and like I say you know if there's one thing that's came out if one of the positives I could say about vlogging um, as well as obviously doing this sort of stuff and really helping you guys with the Disney trips It's about the people that I meet from doing it and not even just them too. There's honestly There's a long list of people that I've met through through doing doing vlogs and um, Not easy not even just other vloggers. I mean like just you guys who I've met in the parks and yeah It's just the, the Disney community is very kind and there's a lot of awesome people in it And it's just it's nice to be part of it honestly But anyway guys on that note I am gonna shoot because I need to pack up the room just to quickly actually just to add as well to what I was saying before about yesterday Boma as well was awesome I really it's a Boma is that how you pronounce it that was really really nice as well but we'll chat about that more in next week's vlog because I really want to get into the detail about Boma because I did slate it quite a bit in the last vlog series so I really want to you know talk about it a bit more so we'll chat about that more in next week's vlog which is going to be the last vlog of this series but like I say don't worry too much because by the time you are watching this I would have probably already been to Florida and come back <laughs> so don't worry you're going to get another vlog series pretty much straight after this um which I'm really, really excited for because that is like an ultimate trip. We've got so much DVC stays in there, so that is going to be amazing. But anyway, guys, on that note, I'm going to shoot. If you've liked this content, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you tune back into next week where we'll be heading to the airport. We've managed to get an upgrade, so I'll discuss and talk you guys through that. As well as we're eating at Sanar, and then it's going to be the whole journey to the airport and what it's like. What is the differences between what it was like flying out last time to what it's like flying out now? Now, we'll go through all that and and yeah thank you so much for being here thank you so much for supporting huge thank you to my patreon members as well for still being here and supporting honestly without my patreon members i wouldn't be able to do impartial content like this so thank you so much and thank you to all my youtube members all you guys that watch the videos and support me week after week like you know like, I, I just can't put it into words but like thank you so much for being here thank you so much for following me on this journey thank you for all the people that i've met in the parks and have just been like just so nice just like so nice and before i start crying because i'm so soppy and i this sort of stuff sets me off i'm gonna go so thank Thank you so much guys and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!